souls this is crazy Madala, and welcome to my youtube channel thank you so much for tuning in and uh, for supporting um and i hope you're gonna enjoy your stay here and that you will be encouraged and inspired which is what i aim to do um so yeah so today i want to speak to you about trusting in the lord even in these times um, this is a topic so very dear to my heart, a topic that God has, I believe, placed into my heart um, about trusting in Him. And I think a lot of us in this time are feeling very frustrated, we are feeling very anxious, um, very depressed, very uncertain about where the future is going. Um, we are asking questions as to why is everything happening, um, where is God, you know? And today I'm here to encourage you and to remind you to trust in the Lord. So what is trusting in the Lord? Trusting in the Lord is putting all of our hope and faith um, in God. And also not just that, but putting our frustrations and our our sadness and our not knowing and giving it all to God, our heavy burdens, giving them over to God because only He can handle um, such things, you know, and, and, and not be affected by them because He is God. But when we try and handle these things, they can really suck the life out of us. You know, they can really make our spirits so heavy, you know, and, and a heavy spirit is, is not good at all. So it's important to give all our heavy load unto God because he cares and quite frankly, he can handle it for us. And in turn, for us giving him our heavy burdens, he's able to give us rest and to cover us with his love, you know. And yeah. Um, I want to start off with a verse about trusting the Lord and this is a verse found in Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 6. This is a Bible verse that I really love and it goes, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Um, in all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. And this is a God we serve. When we submit everything to him, the good and the bad, He's able to figure it out on our behalf, you know. He's able to handle it for us. God um, does not rejoice in seeing us anxious and worried about the future and um, not living in the presence and just living in, um, in anxiety and, and sadness. He does, he, it does not make him happy. So he avails himself as someone who can handle our load um, if we could just give it to him and trust him you know in everything and especially in the times that we are living in now where everything just seems so dark especially in the year 2020 i've never experienced um a year that is so not understandable <laughs> I, I can't think of any other way to put it like i'm not i don't understand what's happening in 2020 but i can just say that even in me not understanding I can put my trust in God and know that he is the creator and he's the curator of everything. He knew that 2020 would be like this, you know, it's not, it's not, it's nothing new to him. It's, it's not a surprise, but to us, obviously, because we don't know, we've never experienced um, such a year where there's a pandemic, um, where, there's, where there's so much violent and um, darkness in the world. Yeah, I'm just here to encourage you who is watching this video to trust God even in this time. And I encourage you to pray even in this time. To know that the devil is working very hard. Um, these are the end times and the, and the devil is working very hard. And we need to, to, to give it all to God in this time and to arm ourselves with the word of God and also prayer, to pray and to trust that God hears our prayers and that he will answer accordingly, he will answer at the right time and he will indeed help us get through this time and um, cover us with his love, mercy and grace. <laughs> cool, um, yeah. 
and i also want us to kind of change our perspective and shift the paradigm and not only focus on the negative that has been happening in the year 2020 but to also look at the positive what have you learned uh, during this um, pandemic you know what has lockdown taught you like i'll tell you lockdown has taught me so many things it has it has it has forced me to self-introspect it has forced me to 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 follow my dreams like starting this youtube channel was something that was placed in my heart and because i was i was um starting myself and also i was always putting excuses up like oh but i'm so busy i don't have equipment and in this time of lockdown i realized that well you're at home you have a phone um put lights together like right now i'm using like multiple lamps to, for lighting purposes but like be creative you know follow your dreams it's no use just sitting around and um and creating excuses of why you cannot go forward in life you know? and um to also just trust god in everything when god places an idea in your heart go for it you know and also it has taught me a lot about family and that family is so important family is all that we have um family will never will never forsake you you know taught me so much about appreciating the small things i hope i'm speaking on behalf of all of us and i say we took life for granted you know or we took the small things in life for granted things like going to the mall with friends you know stuff that's being cancelled now Jesus, so many things that we took for granted but um, now we've come to the realization that those things are such gifts and they are um, not to be taken lightly and that everything really is a blessing um, even the things that we don't perceive as blessings because we don't really pay attention to them but um, they are indeed blessings and yeah really the aim of this video was to encourage the person who's watching this video to trust in god in this time and to put any heavy burden um onto god in this time because god knows it all god knew about 2020 god knew that we would be facing um a pandemic god knows what's to come you know because god knows the end everything is finished you know he, he 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 finished it all you know he knows it all and so we just need to trust the creator of it all the alpha and omega as i said he knew the beginning he was there in the beginning and he was there at the end where we have not reached you and yeah i just want to encourage us to know that god is for us and if god is for us he can be against us even if the devil is working over time in this time because his time is running out we should know that um in the end, the, the, the one who reigns victorious is God. And we should not be worried. We should place all of our of our fears to God and our anxiety to God because he cares, you know, he wants to see us happy. He doesn't want to see us uncertain and, 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 and scared and angry, you know. And it's okay to feel all these things because of what coronavirus, gender-based violence, um, Black Lives Matter movement uh, and, and, and everything that's been happening, you know, and it's just um, Could we trust God in this time? That's all I'm asking and so I encourage you to to pray a lot in in these times to 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 rekindle your relationship with God to open up your Bible to To find inspiration from God so that he can give you rest and that he can give you peace and calmness in this time and i encourage us to to read the word of god because that's where we get um strength that's when we know who god is and what he intends to do for our lives and that's where we're able to 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 throw the devil's lies in the trash literally and um to focus on god's truth you know um and yeah it's, it's it's okay to feel like how we're feeling in this time to feel very very uncertain and and, and very um and very frustrated and very sad and, and and confused but the solution is trusting in the lord and then and, and laying it all before the altar and asking god to to deal with these things on our behalf because we don't have we do not have the strength but god has the strength to do that on our behalf 
and um, yeah and I just will end off with this Bible verse on Psalm chapter 56 verse 3 which says when I'm afraid I put my trust in you meaning I put my trust in God and with, with God on our side we can overcome anything um, even in the darkest times and um, that's really all I wanted to share and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to encourage you to open up your Bible, to pray, to trust God in this time and to not be dismayed, but to know that he loves us and he has everything under control. If you could just rest in his presence um, and trust in him at all times. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in onto this video. Um, thank you for the love and support. Uh, stick around. Please do like, comment and subscribe. And um until next time.